my god. Oh my god. It <laughs> Oh my god. For the first time since 2011, I hit the microphone. I'm not even going to edit that out. The Canucks have won a series. <laughs> oh my god. This is how it feels, boys. This is how it feels. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I've been listening to Gloria on repeat over the past, like, ten minutes. I'm still so ecstatic, and I don't even realize how ecstatic I was before I pressed that record button. Once the clock wound down to zero, I looked at the TV, I smiled, and I turned on the Gloria song. And then I thought to myself, I sat there and I said... Wait, they're going to the second round. <laughs> I can't believe it. This wasn't supposed to happen this quickly. Petey, Quinn Hughes, these two sped up our rebuild by half a decade, I tell you, man. Oh my gosh, this is the team. This is the team that's gotten us past the first round for the first time in a decade. I can't believe it. And it's against the defending Stanley Cup champions. That's why I was playing Gloria. That's why we're playing Gloria. And, oh man, I don't even know where I gotta begin. Do we even do, like, a normal one of these recap videos where we go through the events of the game? I don't think you want to hear about that. You don't want to talk about all the small little things that go wrong and that go right for the Canucks. No, let's talk about just what this means. Talk about the goals. Talk about how everything came down. So... Yeah, I gotta, I gotta catch my breath anyways. This has been one take so far. It doesn't really usually go this long without having at least one cut. But Jay Beagle started off the scoring in this one. And in fact, it wasn't even just Jay Beagle who put the Vancouver Canucks in the spotlight early on. It was the entire Vancouver Canucks team. This game started off with a big notice that Jake Allen, Jake the Snake, would not start in net. It was going to be Jordan Binnington, the guy who ended up winning them the Stanley Cup last year, the guy who had never lost an elimination game in his career. So, because they want to pay respect to their goaltender, if they start Jake the Snake, and in case the Blues end up losing, they don't want to have any regrets saying, okay, what if we just started Binnington? But once Canucks fans got word that it would be Binnington in net and not Jake the Snake... Canucks fans all kind of rejoiced. Oh my gosh, they start looking at the press release, they start licking their lips, and they say, Okay, time to go, blocker side. They didn't do that immediately, because the Canucks ended up starting off the game really hot, they got a few shots, whatever. Jay Beagle gets the first goal of the game, unassisted. It's a snapshot, it goes up high on the right side. It's a far side glove goal, and this makes it one nothing Vancouver. Everybody is freaking out because, my gosh, the bottom six, man. People were harping on the Canucks bottom six for not producing in games three and four, having to rely on only Petey, Miller, and Bo Horvat to actually get offense, people were criticizing the heck out of the guys in the bottom six, but combined with the two Tyler Mott goals in game number five, and now Jay Beagle's goal here in game number six, his first goal of the postseason, and it's big because Jay Beagle almost never scores in general, Canucks fans start freaking out because, wow, we're getting goal scoring from the bottom six? It's Jay Beagle nonetheless? Crazy. And the Canucks... Finished off the first half of this period looking like the completely better team. They were so good, so incredibly possessive of the puck, so unselfish, not afraid to make tipsy, quick, one-touch passes. They moved around as a unit. They trusted each other. They were so cohesive, and they were like probably just the perfect hockey team out there. Then the Blues kind of shifted back the other way. They started doing really well towards the end of the first. But hey, the second starts out just fine. Talking about that bottom six goal scoring, it's Antoine Roussel. He comes in. It's a very bad play by Vince Dunn. 
the guy doesn't play it properly. It's Sutter and Roussel who are there just like bobbling the puck towards the goal and then Roussel takes it and he shoots it and it goes in past Bennington. That's the first Canucks shot in like 11 minutes of game time because the Canucks throughout the last half of the first period kind of got shut down by the Blues, and the Blues were getting their opportunities. Markstrom was standing on his head. We're used to that from now at this point in the series. But the Canucks did not stop there at 2 nothing because just a few minutes later, my gosh, Petey comes into the zone. He stops up. He finds Quinn, who goes to the goal line beside the net. Quinn centers it, he goes back into the high slot, Petey is there, but he's on the backhand, he spins around, sends it to the other side of the goal line for Brandon Sutter, and instead of trying to take a shot towards the goal, wrap it around across Bennington into the goal, he goes back back to the high slot, finds Troy Stetcher, Stetcher shoots it, he scores it, my goodness, that was Sedinary! Sedinary right there! Petey to Hughes to Petey to Sutter, of all people, and then Stetcher shoots and scores. It's no official point for Quinn Hughes, but hey, it's awesome, because Petey is now up there at 12 points in the playoffs. Then, just two minutes later on a power play, the Vancouver Canucks do something crazy. They change it up. Instead of having Besser down low in the bumper spot close to the goal, they swap out JT Miller to go in that spot instead, making Brock Besser the guy who is on the left flank. Because of this, he's the right-handed shot. We all kind of know what happens when Brock Besser is on that left side, and he's given a pass from the top of the umbrella. He winds up, he slaps it down. It's a one-time goal. This is Matt Murray-style Brock Besser snipes right here, and it was crazy to watch. And you can see just everybody kind of cheer in unison for this one. Elias Pettersson with his 13th point of the playoffs. He is now tied with Nathan McKinnon for first in the entire postseason and points. My gosh, we thought Quinn Hughes was great. We thought Bo Horvat was great. Petey, not even the best player on the ice you could debate, just goes out there and gets point after point after point to assist in this one. And it pushes him to the top of the league. Then, Jaden Schwartz scores in the third period. Yeah, that was kind of expected. The third period, the Vancouver Canucks, they weren't really all too amazing. They did a good job at calming it down, but they didn't do that great of a job because the Blues were still pressing really hard. The Blues ended up pulling the goalie, too, with eight minutes left. That was kind of funny. But after the goalie got pulled and a few face-offs later, they got the goalie back. And after the goalie came back, that's when Jay Beagle came in on a two-on-one. He sent it over to Tyler Maud, who shot it, and he scored his third goal in two games played, assisted by Brandon Sutter. So this is Sutter's legitimately third point of the night, as he got an assist on the Roussel goal and the Stetcher goal. Give it a few minutes though, Jaden Schwartz scores again, and um, yeah, okay, that's um, that, that's that's cool. It's 5-2 Vancouver now, there's about a minute and 20-something left. They have to score three goals in a minute and a half. Hopefully we don't crack like the Maple Leafs or the Blue Jackets or the Flames. And that's legitimately what I was thinking, because I was like, yeah, you know, my years and years of being a Canucks fan, I'm used to losing games that the team should have won. I'm used to suffering, choking away leads. And I'm not gonna lie, when that very first Schwartz goal went in, I was kind of feeling that feeling in my gut. But hey, no, they didn't! They scored instead! Tyler Mott, a second goal in the game! His fourth goal in two games played an empty net goal! My gosh! The Vancouver Canucks have won 6-2! to two. Jacob Markstrom is over here! He makes himself a whopping 34 saves on 36 total shots! We have ourselves the two goaltenders who don't really do all too well. Jordan Binnington, man. They wanted to start him in net because they wanted to give him respect, and he ended up giving up four goals on 18 shots. Ooh, man. Doesn't seem good. I wonder if he felt nervous seeing the last few ones go past him. I think a goalie who probably should have beaten Elias Pedersen for the Calder probably should be able to save a little bit more than four goals on 18 shots. Huh? How about that, eh? But... Ah, just, whoo, whoo, boy, just, oh man, Jake Allen makes five saves, he gets six shots against, it's not a lot, but he lets in a goal too, which is a beautiful goal by Tyler Mott, but like, man, everything went right here, aside from the goals towards the end, Jacob Markstrom would probably want those back, but seriously, everything that we could have asked 
came through. Bottom six scoring, cohesiveness as a unit, work ethic the entire way through, the top guys getting their points, Markstrom sealing the deal and making some big saves. And this is only the beginning. This is only the beginning. The Vancouver Canucks are playing the second round against the Vegas Golden Knights. And I don't know how I feel about that. The Canucks have played the Knights, what, nine, eight times in their entire existence, and they've only won two times, once in overtime, once in a shootout. Vegas has Vancouver's number, and they always have every single time they played. But we'll see what happens when game one starts, whenever that is. But for now, the St. Louis Blues, the reigning Stanley Cup champions. Boy, I'm sorry, but you're out of the bubble. Ah, I feel kind of bad, but I kind of don't. It feels so good to be a Canucks fan right now, and you don't even know unless you are one. Talk to me in the comments what you thought about this series. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to go just relax, maybe take a long, hot shower, watch some Korean drama, and go to bed at 5 a.m. after editing tomorrow morning's videos, but... Man, I'm happy right now. I'm really, really happy. Talk to me in the comments below what you think about this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Sure that us in 99. The Vancouver Canucks won! Yes! And bye.